The 75183 Darth Vader transformation is the latest set from the LEGO Star Wars line which they've been using to depict scenes. This set comes in at $25, it comes with 282 pieces, and the three minifigures included are Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader, and Emperor Palpatine. On the back of the box, you can of course see all of the functions of the set, but let's go ahead and open it up and see how good of a set it actually is. The Darth Vader transformation was one of the more anticipated sets from this way, so let's go ahead and see how it holds up. The main play feature of the set is a fairly involved thing. Now, the entire set really revolves around the play feature, so the way it works is that you can see the gear right here. What you initially would do is that you will spin it right here to go to Darth Vader from Anakin, and then you would take this section, lower it forward like this, which is of course his helmet, and you push it forward onto the minifigure. And this can be kind of annoying, but eventually it can work and you'll get it to fully attach. And once you get it to fully attach, you can then lift the chair up just like in the movie, and you can of course just scream. No! Now this feature is pretty cool, but it can be kind of annoying because the actual part of putting on the helmet you can do without you know actually using your fingers yourself although it is a lot easier if you use your fingers because you have to really make sure the helmet is attached because if the helmet's not attached you might take the helmet back off or the helmet just might fall out of this little grip section here which is you know it only uses these two rubber pieces so you know it is a fairly loose construction and it will actually push it off if you don't have it in the correct spot so you have to make sure you have it in the right spot or else it's just gonna be falling out the whole time and it can get kind of frustrating. Now when you remove the two minifigures you can see the sort of chair section is a fairly simple build. It's actually pretty good looking there's not a lot of things wrong with it but there are um, some people aren't gonna like that this entire axle piece is just sticking out right through the middle without any sort of coverage whatsoever. It's all the axle, and for some people that's going to be annoying. And that's how it is on both sides, you know. You look on the other side and you can see it's the same thing, which, you know, some people aren't going to like. Another annoying thing about this is that you can't actually rotate it when it's upright like this. It will not rotate. You have to push it down and then rotate it and then bring it up, which can be also a little bit annoying, although it's not too bad. It can be kind of annoying. And one last thing which is going to be annoying for a couple of people is that this doesn't go all the way down. You can see how it is right now that it's only partially down. It goes down but it's on an angle. Now part of this is because of the minifigure being attached there and you don't want the minifigure to actually run into the assembly or the ground itself. However, I still feel that you should have the ability to bring it down anyways because you know, you don't always have the minifigure on there so you could just have it down there for the cases where the minifigure won't be on there. This set also has its fair share of studded surfaces. There's tons of studded surfaces all around so you can have your minifigures in different spots. For example, you have one right here. So if you wanted to, you could take, say, Emperor Palpatine, you could throw him on here like this. Or if you wanted to, you could have him on an edge sort of angled like this because there's a tile piece there that they use. So there's different sort of uh, play abilities and different poses and such you can get because of all of the different studded surfaces. And there's just different areas where you can move your minifigures around. This set also has, of course, one of the medical drones from the actual movie that was being used to sort of construct Darth Vader's suit. And you can see all over it there are, of course, a bunch of tools. It has just overall just a ton of different tools that you can use, and there actually are some extra ones. It comes with an extra wrench, screwdriver, and a jack, which you could use if you don't like these particular tools. You know, if some of the tools you don't like, you can take them off and replace it. But there is also a play feature in here. Now, it's fairly simple. You can see, of course, the two knobs here. All you do is you push the knob and it will come flying off. It's a fairly simple thing. You can see it's just a simple attachment by just a jumper plate there. And it's it works well, and it's still, you know, it's pretty well built in so for people that want the set not necessarily for play features but for how it looks and the resemblance to the movie it's not all that annoying it's not gonna like 
be one of those really uh, giant functions that are really obstructing and take away from the accuracy of the set, it's still accurate and it works well. On the other side, you have the exact same play feature here of being able to knock this structure off like this. The main thing from this side is of course the assembly. The assembly is fairly simple, it just gives you a place to hold both um, Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader's lightsaber, which is of course very nice, because that way you don't have to worry about losing it, you know, when you actually want to do the play function, you can put the lightsabers down somewhere over there, which is nice, you know, you actually have a built-in place in the set. And there's also this little drone here. Now, this is movable, however, I feel it's just a little bit too loose. Now, this is going to vary from set to set. Different sets are going to have different amount of frictions in this particular piece. In my case, though, it's very loose, so it can just easily be moved all over the place without much effort at all. And even in some cases, it'll just go on its own based off certain angles, which can be a little bit annoying. Another option that you can do here is that you can take this little drone and you can attach it based from this little clip arm here. You can attach it onto the arm like this and then you can just move it around so you have different little bits of posability you can get there and have other drones working on it. However, you have to remove the lightsaber because as you can see, it clashes with the lightsaber, the lightsaber gets in the way and blocks it from being able to fully move all the way to Anakin or Darth Vader so you can, you know, add the extra parts and fix them up and build the suit. The platform in which the function is also built on is actually fairly well covered up. The whole thing is right underneath all of these plates. However, the way they cover it up is that it isn't very noticeable. The only thing that some people may not like is that you can see these two Technic pinholes here because, you know, they left them exposed so you can push it in and push the chair up like that. So those are left exposed because of that. Like it's going to be one of those things that you can easily fix if you really want to, but in, so in some cases, you know, it's going to be something that is just a little bit annoying for other people. One of the most anticipated parts of the set for many people is the minifigures, but let's go ahead and start with Darth Vader. The Darth Vader figure is one of the most important figures of this set because this is one of the cheapest ways you're going to be able to get this figure. This is of course the new version of Darth Vader with the two-piece helmet with the two different molds, one for the bottom one for the top. And this is probably the first set that isn't, you know, outrageously expensive that you can get him from. And that's going to make this set very, very anticipated for a lot of people. He of course comes with the lightsaber, which when you take off you can see more and more printing. You can see more and more printing on the back when you remove the cape. However, there is of course no alternate face, but instead there are a bunch of scars on the back of his head. Similar to Darth Vader, Emperor Palpatine was another anticipated figure from this set because just like Vader, he's mostly available in giant expensive sets, and this is one of the first sets that he's been in that was actually a cheap one. Because of that, this makes this figure actually very, very good for the set. He has a little bit of printing in the front, you can see, which looks pretty good. He also has a gold lightsaber hilt, which is nice. He has no printing on the back, even with the cape removed. However, you can see he has an alternate face, which is actually a lot different from the original one here. The Anakin Skywalker figure included in this set is exclusive and it's very, very detailed. This is, of course, right after his fight with Obi-Wan, so he's extremely battle injured over here. You can see that he already has a little bit of that prosthetic legs in there going on from right after the battle. You can see all of the scars he has from his chest to his legs to his face. It's just all over the place. You can see some of that detail continuing to the back and on the back of his head. And lastly, I just wanted to take a look at it, this brick-built drone. It's not a minifigure per se, however, it is, you know, kind of like one. It has literally no articulation in the legs. You can't actually articulate the legs, otherwise the, uh, the legs are going to pop off because of the connection, which is unfortunate. However, the arms are, of course, movable, and it does have a little bit of detailing in the back, but, you know, it is, of course, a little bit hindered because of that uh, droid arm used to connect it. And that's it for the Darth Vader transformation. The set's pretty good. For $25, there's a whole lot of playability you'll be getting from the set. But the really, the main thing that I think is really going to get a lot of people to buy the set is going to be the minifigures. As I said before, this is probably the cheapest way you're going to be able to get all of these minifigures. The Anakin Skywalker figure is, of course, exclusive. But the really, the main reason a lot of people are going to buy the set is for that Darth Vader minifigure. Because it's the first way they can truly get it without spending like over $100 to actually be able to get it. That's pretty much it. The set is of course very good. There's a lot of nice playability in there. The only annoying thing for me is that, uh, you know, those little jumper tiles can be a little bit loose, you know. The things attached to them because, you know, the function to knock them off, they can be loose and uh, accidentally knocked off pretty easily, which can be 
fairly annoying, especially when you're trying to, say, pose things on top of it. You know, that can just get really annoying and really frustrating pretty quickly. But other than that, the set's really nice. It does a really good job resembling the scene from the movie, and the playability is, of course, really good. That's pretty much it for my review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, see you guys later.